All right, guys, so this is what my hair looks like after I've had my wash and go for five days and it's still moisturized it's still very very soft what i don't like about it is it looks dry because of the color that i've added all right so let's get started the first thing that i do and as you guys can see i'm in my shower and i just love doing my wash and goes in the shower i get the best results from these type of wash and goes so i'm just going to uh, wet my hair and finger detangle it Next, I'm gonna co-wash with this Garnier Whole Blends Conditioner in the scent Avocado Oil and Shea Butter. I just wanted to show you guys uh, both of them because I picked up two from that line. Really, really good conditioners. And here I'm just finger combing that um, conditioner into my hair. And then I'm gonna take this little tangle teaser and just remove any um, other of the little knots that I may have throughout my hair. All right, so after we've gotten all the tangles out of our hair, I'm going to go ahead and rinse that conditioner out. So after the conditioner is all rinsed out, I'm going to give my hair a quick little shake, and then I'm just going to finger comb it, going in the direction that I want my curls to lay. And now comes the fun part, the styling. Okay, so the first thing that I like to do is use a cream styler. And this one is by Nothing But Pure Pudding. And I just take a dollop of this and, and just finger comb it all throughout my hair. You guys will notice in this video, I finger comb my hair a lot. Next, I like to layer on a leave-in conditioner, and this one is the Strength and Shine Leave-In Conditioner by Cream of Nature. I really, really like this product. I feel like it make it keeps my hair really, really soft. Um, and as you can see, finger combing it again. The next product I'm gonna go in with is a gel, and this to me just seals in the pudding and the leave-in conditioner. Um, it just seals that in, and I, again, finger comb that through as well. Okay, so one of the last things that I like to do is put my head back under the water and I just feel like that makes all of those products that I added just gel together. So now I'm just going to give my hair a good, good shake. I want to try to get as much of that water um, out of my hair as possible. So um, we're just going to just shake it, shake it. <laughs> Next, I'm going to use this um, sponge that I got from the beauty supply store. It has a raised end and a flat end. I'm going to use the flat end just to create some little coils around the sides of my hair um, where it didn't curl up as much as I wanted it to. Next, I'm gonna add my essential oils, and this has Jamaican black castor oil in it, and it has a few other oils. If you guys wanna see an essential oils video, uh, let me know in the comments down below, and I'll be sure to make one of those for you. But I'm just gonna add a few squirts of oil to my hair, just to lock everything in and keep me moisturized. Okay, so I thought I'd pop in an hour later just to show you guys what my hair looks like um, at this point. And as you can see, it's really, really coily and um, it has shrunken a lot. But we're going to fix that um, after it dries a little more. Okay, so it has been two hours later. Let's see what my hair looks like. Very, very shrunken, right? but it is so soft, so moisturized, and so coily. So we're gonna just use our little Afro pick and we're gonna lift the roots up, um, being sure not to disturb your curls. So um, I like my, I like to really kinda pick out my middle part, um, just so it can be kinda, you know, a little funky and not so uniform. And I like to keep my sides kinda tightly coiled. And I'm just gonna pick until um, I feel like I've gotten that desired look okay and these are the results 
I really, really love doing a wash and go on my hair. It normally lasts me about four to five uh, days, which is pretty good. The only thing that I do is I add a little more gel to the sides and back and just recoil that small area and it looks as good as it did day one. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. I'll see you guys in my next video.